Dan Brown, Toy and Plastic Brief Museum, Blair, Ohio. You're currently standing in the castle room, which is a different version of the other castle room that we have, because we had the yellow castle room, and this is the actual castle room. Uh, I know it's confusing, but what are you going to do? Um, this is uh, different castle-themed items, um, everything from a, um, a prototype model uh, to the dragons to the wizards to um, skeletons to store displays to the item that was on Shipping Wars. I have to do a Shipping Wars plug in there. Um, they, that was the dragon that was uh, all cleaned up by the guy and uh, brought over here. Um, that uh, model of the uh, original um, a knight is actually pretty cool. Uh, we got that from Newfoundland. And um, that actually went on a, what they call the ice truckers. So uh, it wasn't the ice truckers program, but an ice trucker came in and turned around and had to pull it out of there. And um, they had a, uh, I was on the phone with a guy talking to him about different things Lego related because he, he was kind of a, a Lego nerd as well. And he said, hold on. And uh, you hear a snowblower start up and he goes running out of his house and he has to go, he has to run out of his house. He snow blows his way to the truck station. It's like 50 feet away, but he has to use a snowblower to get through it. So he runs down and dragging the model behind him and he's got like a hookup on it. He showed it to his hilarious and he's snow blowing his way over they come in with a forklift launch it on the truck he comes back all out of breath and everything saying your model's on your way have a nice day eh?" <laughs> so it was it was hilarious so it was one of those really cool items so i got that one and it was like i was on the phone and all of a sudden it's on its way here um we got the wizard's chest which i thought was pretty cool uh we turn around and have the dragon playing the wizard um and then we put a few knights in here and of course the dragon on the wall is uh, our newest addition uh, our artist came in and put that on the wall uh, over the winter yeah, I love that art. That looks so great there. It fits really well with the room. And then over here, you've got a couple. These are the uh, you know bigger models of the kind of almost bionicle style uh, knight figures. Yes, um, we, I, we liked them Vladek, and I forget what the other uh, gentleman's name is. But um, yeah, they uh, you know they they fit real well, and they uh, they look really nice. And we basically have a really good um, a collection of different things that are on that theme, so we're able to actually uh, you know have fun with it. Mm -hmm. And then over here, this is just a massive kind of castle layout, you know, got all different sorts of castles and minifigs going on here. Was this a collaborative between different builders? Uh, yeah, we were the, um, the, the uh, Coltex ULTC uh, turned around and um, one of the members over there made the, um, the uh, volcano and the other stuff. I built the rest. Um, and then I incorporated some of the uh, dragons from the um, Legoland. Are they, the gift displays, because those oh, were so okay. cool. I loved them. <laughs> yeah. so when, I, when I was over, and I, I had to buy a whole bunch of dragons when I was over at Legoland, so I bought the dragons and put them in my display. Um, but this was uh, yeah, a thousand uh, figures attacking the keep. So, And then we, we talk about the keep and the crosses on there aren't religious. Oh, they are religious, but they're not really a religious theme. They were made so that the archers could turn around and fire in all directions, and you can't hit those even with today's bows. So they're a, a perfect design for firing, and you can fire from all different directions and, and basically look like you've got a whole bunch of people inside the keep when you really don't. So it, it's it's you know it's one of those things that really went well into the theme and went well into our different. Um, uh, you know, tours that we have here. Um, the other one is the Easter Bunny being wrangled by the guys that's over on the other side. Uh, the kids came in and one kid said he wants the Easter Bunny being wrangled by people, so we turned around and found an Easter Bunny, put him in, and then the, the rest was history. I came in the next weekend. He's being attacked by uh, knights, so. Mm -hmm. And a big, uh, you know, display like this, I know one issue with, I'm sure, the whole building and all the models can be like dust and wear and stuff. How do you guys try to combat that? Oh, air, um, you know, dusters. Um, you know, we've, we've got an army of people that come in and dust about once every six weeks, and it doesn't help. <laughs> it's just terrible. Um, trying to keep things, uh, you know, clean is, is, a, is a major, you know, is a major task. Yeah, and then over here, it looks like this is almost like a little yellow submarine type of thing with like pirate stuff in there. Well, this was actually a uh, Lego store display that they reused the casing. So they took another theme and uh, turned around and um, put something else in it. Um, so this was the la one of the last ones we got from Lego over in Enfield. And um, it came in and it actually had other models stored inside of it. So you couldn't see them. But when you turn around and you came, I came out, there was actually an addition that went up on top here. And then um, there was another model that was stuck inside there. So um, it was some kind of adventure theme with a, um, you know, submarine, obviously, theme that went with it. And they just reused the case and put another assembly in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it fits really nicely with this room then. So, yeah, this is really great. And it's nice see you got this, you know, all these different castle displays. You even got over here some of the, some of the old Viking sets and some, some actual Lego sets from over the years, some of the old knight sets. I love the Viking sets. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, they weren't as popular as they should have been. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's because of the dragons. I, I really think the dragons could have you really used a, you know, more Lego look to them. They had more of a Bionicle look to them, mm -hmm. which, you know, is great for the Bionicle people, but I don't think the kids really got that much into the dragons. But um, hey, the, the theme itself, the Viking theme is excellent. And the boats were phenomenal. 
Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. I know when it first came out, I think I might own, if not every set, you know, which I, I don't usually get every set from a theme, and that's one of those few that I think I might have. It's just so many cool, you know, Viking, the, like you said, the boats, the minifigs were really awesome. It just was a really great thing. It would have been cool to see them pursue that further. It would have been very nice. Uh, but again, you know, they, they're, they're a multi-billion dollar company, and <laughs> you and I are just guys in Ohio turning around talking about Lego all day. So, uh, who, you know, who's the smart one? Yeah. <laughs> I guess they know what they're doing, we hope. So <laughs> this is a great room, though. Thanks for showing that to us. Well, thank you very much.